Saxon Math Course 2. We're in Lesson 67 today, and we're dealing with geometric solids. And on this lesson of geometric solids, we are basically going to look at these solids specifically. Uh, specifically, there are several here. You know what a sphere is. It's basically like a basketball would be, okay, or something like that. A cylinder would be like a can, right? A cone, which you also have seen, almost construction cone. Cube, uh, which is obvious. Triangular prism, okay? When you have two triangles, okay, and you've got those set aside there. And then, of course, the pyramid, which is also kind of difficult to draw, but regardless, there's my best effort, okay? So today we're going to talk about these things. So I'm going to put in front of you a cube because this is going to be the easiest, I think, to to demonstrate um, the different parts of that. Uh, I'm going to draw in dotted lines here to kind of demonstrate some of the corners that we can't see. And first of all, let's identify, okay? Um, if I draw a line here, we would call this a face, okay? A face is just simply a side that is flat and that um, is visible, okay? And on a cube, if we rolled this forward, this would also be a face. If we rolled it backward, okay, the bottom would become a face. So it has six faces, okay, just to just to give us an idea of that, all right? So it's important to know what those things are, okay? Let's go to the next section and let's talk about um, an edge, okay? Where an edge is any sharp edge, right? So in red here, I'm gonna draw and kind of scribble on this edge here and you would note that that's an edge. And then, uh, of course, coming down here would be an edge and then on the bottom is an edge, and so are these back here. Any any sharp line that, that is distinguished here. So how many edges does this thing have? Well, if we start on the back side here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the back that are hidden, 10, 11, 12, there would be 12 edges. And we said that a face, okay, would be six because a cube has six faces. And then vertex. In other words, what is what is a um, a vertices um, as far as as far as this is concerned? Now, vertex would be something where two edges come together, or three edges come together. So it would be the corner. So there's one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. So we would have eight vertexes, okay? And of every single solid, there's diff they're, they're different. Some don't have any uh, edges because they're round. Um, some do have a couple of edges. Some, some have uh, fewer faces than, than others. So you ha it just depends on what geometric solid you are looking at, okay? So the example problems all ask similar questions to this. And so what I've done is I've kind of taught you all of that in one section, okay? So you can refer back to this, um, this, this video here in order to find out some of those questions. Um, if you're gonna draw a box, okay, or draw a cube, most of you are way, way better at this than I am, okay? But it's kind of like you're drawing a square and then you're drawing another square except it's just offset just a little bit and then you connect the corners that are similar okay and in this one because we don't see those corners we're just gonna draw them out by dotted lines and you get a cube okay um, what if you were to unfold this box what would it look like okay well, a box would have a base, right? And then it would have a side here. It would have a side here. It would have a side here. And it would have a side 
here. In other words, if we're going to fold this all up and it was going to have a top, but one top, one of these would have to fold up and have the top on it. So I'm going to add it right up here and call this the top. So this is what we call um, a skew, okay? Um, which would determine or show you if this was all unfolded, if this box was unfolded, what it would look like in a package um, cut out of something, okay? So you're going to be asked to draw these things, okay? And it's not too difficult, but you just have to think about it. If I folded this up, it would be a side, this would be a side, this would be a side, this would be a side, and the top would be open, so we had to add one more. And the top could have been here, or it could have been here, or it could have been here. It didn't matter which way we folded it because it's the same size, right? It's the same as equal to any of these other faces. So anyway, that's what they're going to ask you to do in some of these in some of these questions. All right. So very easy lesson, not too hard, uh, but it kind of puts your mind into those uh, thinking about those geometric shapes today. All right. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask.